Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and today we're going to talk about the Overwatch servers. Why? Well, because it appears that something has changed without us being made aware of it. So, basically, it seems like Blizzard might be testing out 60 tick servers on the quiet. As posted on the subreddit earlier today, it seems like some users have already spotted the change in the in-game net graph. So I went into the game and checked it out for myself. Now, bear in mind I'm not a network engineer or a game developer, so some terms I use might be a bit out of place, but bear with me as I try to explain this in a way that I believe at least makes sense. Now, for those of you who don't know what tick rate is, basically it's how fast the server ticks over. Imagine how often your frame rate updates on your own screen, and that's in a nutshell very similar to what's happening on the server too. You see, the server has to keep track of where everyone is on the map, the shots that are being fired, as well as the status and position of in-game objects, and update them on the server side so they can be passed down to everyone playing and keep everyone in sync. So, how often the server updates to check all of this is called the tick rate. Previously, the servers were running at a tick rate of somewhere around 30, but it looks like a recent change has sped them up to 60. In a forum post by Jeff Kaplan himself, he did actually mention that faster server infrastructure was on the list of things that were the top of the to-do list for the Overwatch dev team, along with changes in preparation for Season 2 of the competitive mode. So it's entirely possible that this could be part of a test to see how feasible it all really is on a large scale. But what does this mean for us players? Well, there's a number of things you might see differently with faster tick rates active. Higher tick rate can mean higher precision. For example, if you're using a hitscan weapon such as Widowmaker's rifle in scoped mode, you may find your shots hitting their mark more often, whenever you appear to be on the target that is. Often in the past we see cases where we've been killed and it didn't appear that we were even hit. Or in other cases you may be running back behind a corner only to be sniped as though you hadn't. Of course, the most egregious example of this is Roadhog's hook seemingly passing through walls just to grab you. Of course, actual lag notwithstanding, this can often be due to the lack of precision in the way the server handles data. However, with faster tick rate on the server, we could be seeing these things happening less often. And certainly, if you're a decent enough shot, you'll definitely be rewarded more often for your accuracy. Now, given that I play on the US servers when I'm not actually based in the US, I do deal with latency fairly often, or so often in fact that I'm used to having to, for example, lead targets even with hit scan weapons. But since the tick rates have increased, I've actually found myself landing shots that were bang on target, even though the person I'm aiming for is moving erratically. And for the competitive scene, this is definitely good news. After all, competitive mode is supposed to be a test of player skill, and it definitely tarnishes the image and usability of such a mode if a lot of problematic situations can just be blamed on the game. It certainly is a dire situation when teams facing off can viably blame a loss, for example, on a bug or flaw in the game itself. So hopefully it'll lead to much better matches, especially when it comes to Overwatch's budding esports scene. But for quick play enthusiasts like myself, all it simply means is that we'll be able to divert our frustrations from the how did they hit me moments to leave me alone may moments. But what do you guys think? Is a faster server good for us all? What issues have you faced with Overwatch's netcode in the past? And if you could ask Blizzard to fix anything about the game as it is right now, what would it be? Let me know what you think down in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.